The triangle law of vector addition is used to determine the resultant of two vectors acting at a point. The triangle law of vector addition states that if two vectors are represented as two sides, of a triangle taken in order then their resultant their resultant is represented in magnitude and direction by the third side of the triangle taken in the opposite order. Now let's look at an illustration. If we have two vectors, A and B, vector A and vector B. Now, according to the triangle law of vectors, their resultant can be represented as follows. Here, vector A, and then here, vector B, the third side of the triangle represents the resultant of the two vectors. So here we have R is equal to A plus B. Now we are going to derive a formula for the triangle law of vector addition. Let's extend this diagram this way. At this point, we have a right angle. We can label this S. Here, we label P. We label here Q. And we label this point O. Then, the angle between a and R, we label phi, while we label the angle here between A and B as theta. So from triangle OSQ, if we apply the Pythagoras theorem, we will have from triangle OSQ applying the Pythagoras theorem gives OQ squared is equal to 
ओ एस स्क्वेड प्लस क्यू एस स्क्वेड दैट इज द स्क्वेर ऑफ द हाइपोटेन साइड इज इक्वल टू द सम ऑफ द स्क्वेर ऑफ द अदर टू साइड्स Now you can see from the diagram that side OS is made up of two parts that is OP and PS so we can write OS as OP plus PS so this becomes OQ squared is equal to OP plus ps all squared plus q s squared so we can label this equation 1 then from triangle psq triangle psq with theta as the angle between a and b we will have cos theta the cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse side that is ps over pq then if we cross multiply at this point ps will be equal to ps will be equal to pq cos theta pq cos theta and from the diagram side pq side pq is the same as b so instead of writing pq we can replace it with b so here we will have ps is equal to b cos theta b cos theta now if we consider uh the sine of theta we will have sin theta sin theta is equal to the sine is opposite over hypotenuse so that will give us qs the opposite side all over pq the hypotenuse side so qs if we cross multiply qs will be equal to qs will be equal to pq sin theta pq sin theta and side pq from the diagram side pq is the same as side b so instead of writing pq sin theta we will write b sin theta b sin theta now if we substitute the values of ps and qs in equation 1 this is equation 1 we substitute the values of ps and qs we already have ps is equal to b cos theta and qs is equal to b sin theta so if we substitute these values into equation 1 we will have r squared we will have r squared uh 
r squared is equal to a plus b a plus b cos theta r squared plus b sin theta all squared now if we expand this if we expand the, the first term here on the first term on the right hand side a plus b cos theta we will obtain r squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab cos theta plus b squared cos theta sorry b squared cos square theta plus this term which is b sine theta squared then we have um b squared here we also have b squared here so we can write this as r squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab cos theta plus b squared into cos square theta plus sine square theta From the trigonometric ratios, cos square theta, sorry, trigonometric identities, cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1. So we have r squared, r squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab cos theta. plus b squared so if we take the square root of both sides we will have r is equal to square root of a squared plus b squared plus 2ab cos theta so this represents the magnitude of the resultant vector next we will find the, the direction of the resultant vector now from our diagram we let phi be the angle between vectors a and r let angle phi be the angle the angle between between vectors a and R. So that if we consider triangle OQS from triangle OQS in the diagram, We have tan phi, tan phi is equal to QS, tan is opposite over adjacent, QS over OS, and this is equal to QS over OP plus 
PS since side OS is the same as side OP plus PS. So tan phi is equal to B sine theta all over OP plus PS. Now OP from the diagram is OP is side A while PS PS we already have a value for PS PS is equal to B cos theta so I'm going to replace OP plus PS with A plus B cos theta so I'll write here I'll write A plus B cos theta A plus B consider therefore therefore to find the value of the angle phi we will take the tan inverse of this so phi angle phi is equal to arc tan or tan inverse of B sine theta divided by A plus B cos theta. So phi gives the direction of the resultant vector. So if we want to find the direction of the resultant vector, we use phi equal to arctan b sine theta over a plus b cos theta. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share and also subscribe to this channel.